France, uh, French, uh, France, they thought we were selling uh, weapons. But what did they do to our ships? They uh, took all the things we had on the ship and uh, said that that was not allowed to be sold in yeah. other countries. It was almost like pirates, yeah. when you compared to pirates. They, and what happened to our fleet, our ships? What did uh, happen? Who won the battle? And then? The British won. The British, yeah. And they took all our ships and left for home. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, in July 1807, the French and Russians, they agreed to join forces against the British. And then the British once more sent a message to Denmark and claimed our navy and all, all our ships, actually. And what did the Danes say? It's okay. Come, we'll give you our ships or whatever. They refused. <laughs> they actually refused. And on September 2nd, 1807, the Battle of Copenhagen started. And how long, when you said, did this battle last? Three days. Three days, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, and um, the days uh, surrendered eventually. And uh, what, what was so special about this, this incident that we're talking about it today? Nu må jeg gerne byde ind med hvad I synes, jeg skal prøve at redde, Gustav. It was the first terror bombardment at civilian people. Yeah, because they didn't aim for military goals, mm. they were actually aiming for civilian houses in Copenhagen, yeah. Uh, Anton? Yeah, that was exactly Yeah, and... Uh, kan du huske 1600, der mistede det ud? 1600 civilian kvarter? Jeg nødte det skete. Ja. Uh, 1,600 civilian Copenhagen people lost their lives, actually. And there's a very um, famous picture we're going to look at later, but the, the rockets, they aimed for something special. Uh, what did they aim for in Copenhagen? We've talked a lot about that. Uh, and yeah? <laughs> 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 okay. Alexander, what did they aim for? Cathedral? Yeah, in Copenhagen, oh. the cathedral. Why? Uh, I can't remember. Can't remember. Who remembers why they, they aim for, for four years? It goes down? That was like in the middle of everything, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 There was a fire yeah. run. Yeah, there was the... Uh, the city. Yeah. That's the rockets. They were fleeing in yeah. yeah. the yeah. parts of Copenhagen. Yeah. And, um, I don't know what is the uh, what is the look uh, old Copenhagen or old San Danish uh, city, but I don't know if this uh, is this uh, true true. No, but it's a second. Uh, there will be other questions also. Yeah. Yeah. Is this, uh, this yeah, this is like, is the source primary or secondary? So that's the uh, uh -huh. okay. But it, it, it's... Okay, she's downloading it, yeah. She's making the questions and stuff. Okay. And then she'll open up for me. Okay. And then we can go and ask the questions. So that's it? Yeah. yeah. Because here it's difficult to see all the details. Yeah, it's... The picture before. Yeah. Maybe the start of the yeah. mm -hmm. But did you know when it started? On the day or of the night? It was at the night. It was the, night. Um, the the rockets. They were they, the wind needed to slow down so the rockets wouldn't you know flew away instead of just hitting the target. They wanted to see the. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, no, no. That's not the, the important thing. Yeah. But the wind is often more ah, you know, windy yeah, at, at day. From so the sea, so it's easier oh, to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. information that the start on Bergen because uh, uh, people uh, get some uh, our uh, things. Here it is sitting still and it is struggling the target. So. Okay. And this one is. Uh, um, we think this is uh, this was with fire, yeah. uh, and this was uh, with uh, explosions. Uh, we're actually not uh, quite sure, but uh, 
I think it's like that. Yeah. What is when when was the source produced? Maybe in England because uh, yes. England uh, was providing. Yeah, it probably because was. Uh, England, actually. England, 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 if they bombarding yeah. Danish. I'm sure that's right, but I don't actually know. So. But, um, so right. It would be kind of hard to get a camera. Yeah. At yeah. museum exactly. or something yeah. like that. Oh, there's the credibility. What is the easy to relic? I don't know. Like, uh, relic really or narrative? Yeah. It's a relic, right? No narration. I also think it's relic. Yeah. What do you know about this? It's, it's a weapon. <laughs> it's a weapon and it was used uh, in, the, in the war? Yeah. It was first tried at the war, the bombardment. Yeah. It was first time in action. Yeah, like... We, for inventing this, uh, wanted to try it out because uh, they thought it was uh, ridiculous. They found it funny. Yeah. Spend some time. I can see your answers here and I would normally... <laughs> I just have to find the time point. Yeah. So, um, does anybody want to say something about this picture? Um, right now? This, uh, you were asked to describe the picture, and I suppose you all, all of you did that, Sandra. Um, is the scene realistic? What's that? It is kind of realistic. It is. It is. It's, it, it's, we don't actually know if it was like that it happened, but we know that they, they were firing at the city and. Because it was made by. It was made by an artist standing there watching the bombardment. But we yeah. don't know. Now, the, the pupils should know. I, I, I should have written uh, all the things. Picture and so on, but yeah. the students, sorry, the students are very good, they're critical. We, yeah. we do not really know if it was no, no, okay, that's right. Sure. So that's very good. They're no, very good. we don't really know, but uh, so, um, but it's, it's supposed to be a primary source, uh, and you explained why that's very nice. Yeah, um, we, we could um, spend, spend some time talking about what information you get from the picture, and, uh, and yeah, it's it's taking painting. it. I don't agree. I would it say could, be, could be realistic, uh, the start of bombarding and some painter stay <laughs> and pay the... Uh, <laughs> I yeah. don't think so. While, while the bombs were... <laughs> yes, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's crazy for me. He had good at that time, he couldn't take <laughs> selfie on <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't know. That's, the, that's the story, how the story goes. It's a considered a private <laughs> Uh, but how long did you take him for that? I mean, it, it looks like... He, 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 did, he did a lot of uh, paintings that night. But they, they projected it like... Hot discussion. Hot discussion, yeah. 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 It's it, it said that he was... I, I love it, it's historians. It's very nice, they're very critical. It's very nice, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But, but that's how the story goes, that he was standing on a roof in Copenhagen painting a lot of pictures while the bombs were falling uh, around him. Um, <coughs> uh, I was <laughs> tried out at the bombardment in Copenhagen. Yeah, they didn't actually know if it was working when they no. arrived. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, they wait till the evening to fire them, so the wind would slow down a little bit, yeah. so they were straight and instead of flowing the other way. In yeah. all directions, yeah. They waited for the right time yeah, okay. and the right wind. Did anybody answer that? Alexander? Yeah. Um, you were convinced for this. Um, what do you know about the source? Costa already told me what he knew about the source. Does anybody else want to tell us something about the source? Well? Det er fint, 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 det er fint
day uh, practicing it so we could get real fire and it would be real good and so we made a movie about it. It's kind of like a, a new show as you can see. Okay. Um, Uh, there's a lot of 
strong willed. There's a lot of strong willed young people um, actually um, um, claiming their rights uh, in the classroom. So um, I'm the leader, I think, most of the time, and I decide. But, but, and, but the way we, we teach, um, we build it up. They, they have some influence. For, for instance, in Danish next year, they will have some influence on which subjects will I um, bring to examination. And they can say, turn, turn it down, and I will listen to them and say, OK, uh, you don't want to work with that. Uh, go to exam. And this uh, subject will take this one instead. So um, it's very, uh, it, it's, it's sort of democratic, but I'm, I'm the absolute monarch. <laughs> The lessons themselves are they more conversational? I mean, yeah. It is a conversation you're supposed to learn, and you have to have a basic in the language to be able to have um, the conversation. But maybe some of you will tell yeah. how you are. You know, how are your English lessons? Of course, they change from when you start. It kind of play and song and, and, and so on, right? And then you learn the grammar and the words and so on to be able to have a, a real conversation. Some uh, some of the students want to say something about your English lessons. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you deal with this recent events like uh, that are happening, like wars and the terrorism and all this? Do you sometimes have in the classroom like time that you spend for discussion of these events, like besides to what they have to teach? Sometimes I'm busy and don't have time for really um, talking a lot about the subject, but um, mostly will um, I spend very uh, a lot of lessons every week with the class, so if they come and ask me if there's an election, for instance, or whatever, you're good at, at, at asking me in class in the morning, you know, what's, uh, can you tell me something about it? And then I'll just um, put aside what we're doing and we'll talk about it. And if, uh, uh, the, uh, you know about that. Democratic dialogue. Yeah, yeah about yeah. something. Yeah, and we're talking and I'm listening and trying to answer and so on. And sometimes I'm going to say, um, I'll have to look that up or uh, try to find the answer and then we'll talk about it and some, uh, some things. But sometimes, um, sometimes I'll have to say, oh, it'll have to be later and sometimes uh, we, can, we can take the conversation in class. Yeah. Have you taught this class? For many years, or is it just the one? It's my it's almost two years now. Yeah. I, I 